Hi, I'm Orange. Let's talk about this song idea I had back there in the morning when I still couldn't sleep and I was reflecting my past, how I was not willing to grow and how it turned out to be too overwhelming, if not a burden, to someone I truly cared. I wrote this song to get rid of myself because I don't want to hide from those scary emotions and uncertainty anymore. The first line goes like this. That's why she left who always want to babysit Oh boy, can't you see? And I stopped Curse, I had no idea what I see <laughs> From these trapped and stuck situations in life I couldn't see how I can move on from it Or any directions that is different from how I always think and actually in that morning the way I always write songs is like voice memos, guitar and pen and notebook yeah never mind if you couldn't see it so after a few weeks I finally summarized what I was doing it goes like this oh boy can't you see you're chasing your tail the chords I use are basically, we are in D major key, so I B minor, A, G, major 7th, and then second time, A, and then A sharp or B flat diminished 7th, and then back to B minor, and then drop to the E7, which is a 2-7. If you know the number system anyway basically that's it for first four lines after that it becomes easier for me to write after i summarize it i know where to go so it goes like this until you stopped and grow i want to land on a kind of a home feeling chord back to our d chord d major nine i always love major nines I want to have a sudden stop here and then the following it's a big sing-along part that I imagined I want it to be like supporting myself backing myself up with many 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 versions of me very encouraging and supportive <laughs> kind of thing I even imagine if I'm singing with the crowd with everyone on, a, on the stage with this song yeah just why not <laughs> This time from the chorus, instead of dropping from my 6, 5, 4, I just go another way around. Like, major 7, 4, 5, 6, very classic. So it goes like this, the choir or sing along part. Don't go back, just make a choice and go for it. Wherever you land, I'm always Always with you. That's what I want to say to myself. Whenever I hesitate or doubt myself, I can still move forward. Even I'm scared. After this first round of chorus, it repeats. Don't look back. And I want to add an overlay melody line on top of that. Cause I feel like a strong urge to express that scary feelings the desperation to outgrow this cowardness for me it goes like this don't look back and i still wanna die but i won't run away run away we run together wherever we wanna be And then the sing-along part will keep going with this line. So basically that's it. Let's get to 
our production part. Alright, before I jump into Ableton, if you want to see more song making vlogs like this, let me know in the comments what you like and what you want me to talk more about. Like, subscribe this channel and follow me on Instagram, that would really help. I'm mostly active on Instagram. I got released a song too, you may want to check it. And yeah, let's move on. Okay, to start with, I recorded the backbone of this song demos like I always did, which is acoustic guitar. I had row nt 1 a on my left and SM57 on my right. So I just hard pan them left and right just as how I recorded them. Take a listen. And then choir part. Basically like that, I had nothing and uh, this Unity does nothing here. I only have audio effects on this group, a opposite EQ here to increase the serial effect and the compressor to make it more packed and um, slightly boost the gain, the volume and I reduce the width because if I don't have this one on, they would... It has a phrasing issue here, so I just have to put it on. Uh, I think it still kind of has a phrasing issue, but it's not that severe now. Yeah, let me know how you would deal with it in the comments, please. Alright, to the next backbone, which is drums to me. Having a static groove is always a great camphor for me to paint on. Let's take a look. I actually have a right row here. Let's take a look to the bass, the first part. For the bass, because this is not a complicated song, I would say. It's more like a encouraging, simple, powerful anthem kind of thing. So I just go with a minimalistic method uh, for the bass. And by the way, for the drums, I turn it off because I exported the stamps here so that I can mix them for better sound placement separately. Yeah, let's all together. That's why she To babysit, oh boy, can't you see? You're chasing your tail. By the way, for the focals, I have two layers: main focal and sub focal. For the sub focal, I always find it adding texture to the focal layer so that the focal can pop and sounds more audible in the mix. At least that's how I do it. Let me know what's your way to do it. After that, we going to. You're chasing your tail Until you stop and grow Wait, <laughs> we will get there And for the drums here, I make a marching drum vibe here so that it matches the story which I'm preparing myself mentally, physically, emotionally to get rid of myself, to admit the feelings. It goes like this. And the next thing to our chorus, apart from the ongoing guitar, yeah, let's take a look to the drums first. Yeah, the main groove, it goes like this. I just put different fill-ins by the end of the every two bars. It goes the same. minimalistic method. I also added a synth pad underneath.
Yeah, and it repeats because the, the cards are the same. To me, this synth pad adds warmth and a transparent understanding to the story. Like, I understand what you're going through. It's, it's my intention. Maybe you hear it differently. Let me know in the comments. Finally, to our sauce, which is the choir part. We have low and high section, which they are only an octave apart. The normal ones are, are just how I usually sing, and the nosy one I just, you know, just sing like this and to add another texture and to make it sound like a choir altogether. Cause I did it alone, right? Also, the airy texture. Down low back. And this is how I sound with Don't Nose. Don't look back. Just make a choice and go for it. Anyway, <laughs> maybe too much reverb. Now I realized. <laughs> but yeah, they sound all together like this. Don't look back. Just make a choice and go for it. Wherever you land, I'm always, always with you. And for the first line, don't look back. I, when I was recording, I sang it wrong for many times, like don't look back, but in fact, I want it to be don't look back, so the don't it's longer, but when I put them together, I found it to be quite impactful actually. Don't look back. A subtle but not so subtle thing. So, for the second time, uh, which I have an overlaid focus here, it goes like this. And I still want to die, but I won't run away, run away, we run together. Ooh, wherever we want to be. And that's how I ended this song. For me, this main focal part actually reminds me of my chemical romance. By the way, when I post a YouTube short of this demo, uh, there's a comment saying um, this overlaying melody kind of kills the song because it's not aligning with the message I'm telling. I give it a thought and I will keep it because I feel like I expressed the, the desperate feelings and, and at the same time the courage to face and get real with myself just with this slightly hysterical and desperate and how would you describe it and uh, yeah this kind of feelings let me know how you think and yeah that's all let's have a listen that's why she left who always want to babysit oh boy can't you see Chasing your tail Until you 